hands up. Good morning, everyone. My name is Yop Ruang Pam. I'm a senior movement strategy specialist with the Wikimedia Foundation. Um, I work on the community resources team. Pardon my voice. Um, probably all the chatting with the babies on the plane <laughs> and landing at 2 a.m. Um, and part of my work is supporting all of you in the work that you do to advance um, <clears throat> movement strategy. That means um, ensuring that you have access to the resources, the tools, the technology uh, that you need to implement the movement strategy initiatives and recommendations. So what are these strategy initiatives and recommendations and why do they matter? That's what you'll be hearing about today. I'm just starting us off. I'd like to start us off with uh, by helping paint a picture. Uh, this is my picture of what the movement strategy is in the middle of all the conversations happening. So if you think of the movement strategy as, um, as our opportunity to develop a vast piece of land, where some years ago we came together as a movement and said, we're going to develop this land and we know we have a community and we are going to build the space where our community will live together cordially, collaboratively, and where we look at each other through the lens of equity. Um, and so we all came together and we decided collectively that this vast community will have different areas in the way that you would develop an estate. So in this community, we have our secretariat, think of that as the governance piece. You'll hear a lot about the movement charter uh, and the global council in the course of our time together. Think of the education part of our community, the school district as skills and leadership development. Uh, think of the playground where we innovate in free knowledge. So we have these different areas and phases um, in our vast piece of land that we're working together to develop. Now, as we're building this community, we're like it is with any development piece, we're learning along the way, but we're advancing step by step by step. Um, it takes collective effort and it is a community where there are many architects, there are builders, there are engineers, there are bankers, there are people with so many different skills and we've decided to pull together these skills to grow and build this community. I like to call the movement strategy as it is today, our social contract with each other that says that by doing these things, we will work together collectively towards a shared and a common vision. We might do it in our own ways in small spaces, but at the end of the day, the small work that we do, the small work that you do um, in a small language community somewhere in Serbia, or the work that you do um, somewhere in the Balkans, or the work that is done somewhere in a small language community in Lagos, it matters and it contributes. Sometimes it's just about finding the, the connections between your project and the global vision to say, okay, am I in this community? Am I contributing to this community? Am I part of the building? Uh, am I laying building blocks that enables, that will enable us to build this community together? And those are the answers that will come to you in the presentations coming right up. Um, after this. They're more concrete, not hypothetical, like I've just done. Thank you and welcome to everyone. Thank you, great builders. Thank you, great collaborators. Thank you um, and welcome. I'll invite Mahutan to get us started. Thank you, Yop. Morning, everyone. So I'm Mahutan Posupe. I'm uh, working in the movement uh, communication team and supporting uh, re things related to movement strategy. So, uh, how you upset, uh, movement strategy it had been started <laughs> long before. And in this room, I can see that there are really well-known people really who knows how movement strategy work and also newbie. So we are here to create connections. And this session is to put together those who really know what is it where it starts, where are we going, and match with those who just join uh, to create, you know, that collaborations and see how we can continue implementing the women's strategy. Is it good? Oh, sorry. 
Okay, so um, what is the movement strategy, uh, specifically for, for newcomers? It is a, a plan for structural change. So it's clearly a plan to change things. And uh, what has been said is uh, from 2016 or 2017 to 2030, what change are we going to implement in the movement? What are we going to work on? You know? And the second thing is, when we talk about movement strategy, it's clearly a collaborative process. Those who started it created small groups. There's a change. They talk a lot in different communities and come together with many recommendations on how we should work together to get there by 2030. So it is clearly a collaborative process, and that is why we are also here today to continue working collaboratively. Why a movement strategy? So as I said before, um, there are different stakeholders and many different stakeholders in the movement. We have affiliate, how the Wikimedia foundations, we have also different communities, uh, but we all work together uh, having a common goal. But the thing is, we don't have a dedicated, uh, I, I mean, um, strategy. I, we don't I'm have okay. a strategy to follow. But we want to do no, the same thing. We want, we want uh, all to yeah, advance the movement. Yeah. But if we don't get co coordinated, we cannot get it. That is why we, the movement strategy started. And the thing is, we need to define uh, you know, when stakeholders work together to, to get a, a common goals, we need to define what strategy. First, to limit uh, equity in decision making and resource allocation. So that is what we see uh, before. And now we also see a lack of collaborations and power sharing between the foundations, the affiliates, and also uh, the communities. Those are the stakeholders we have. And the goal is, okay, we work together, but how we are going to, to, to work together? And now, uh, why does it matter to you? The experienced contributors, editors know already because they spent a lot of time to work on this. But for newbie, why is this important also for you to get in? First, it is uh, clearly a two-way change. It is a learning path uh, to share experiences between uh, Wikimedians everywhere, everywhere, in every continent. Um, every communities, every regions, with our differences in culture. That is why we need to work together. And also, the women's strategy encourages us to build collaboration, as I said together uh, before. Collaboration, collaboration to, to, each other, each other. to help each other, to help each other, 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 the way we work to, at, to achieve our different goals, putting them together to achieve the common objective of the movement. So yeah, that is mostly um, quick background about the movement strategy. There are a lot of things to be said, but I will pass to my colleague uh, Vivian uh, later to say more about, about it. Uh, Junko, sorry. Thank you so much. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Junko also a facilitator in the uh, movement communications team. And um, I think some of you were mentioning about wearing a UV t-shirt and actually I'm one myself, so I wish I had one. <laughs> but um, so I just um, wanted to share about the strategic direction, but you know, as a newbie, I just want to, for those of you who's been, you know, creating the movement, it's a, just a reminder for everyone. And I think if, um, Hmm. Maybe if you can all close your eyes <laughs> for a moment, no peeking. <laughs> and just for, so our strategic direction is by 2030, Wikimedia will become the essential infrastructure of the ecosystem of free knowledge. And anyone who shares our vision will be able to join us. So just wanted to let that sink in <laughs> in a different way um, as a new new person to the movement, I was very fascinated um, by this um, direction. I think for those of you who have been around for a long time, I think it's just natural. It's, you know, something that's, you know, always been with you or, yeah. Um, it's, yeah, it's very normal, but for someone 
who's new, I think it's a very big deal. And I just wanted to um, remind everyone that what you are creating and work collaborating towards, it's a, it's a very big deal. Um, okay. And uh, the strategic direction has two goals. So it's a twin, so they must come together. And the first one is knowledge as a service to serve as our users. We will become a platform that serves open knowledge to the world across interfaces and communities. That's one. And the second is equity, uh, knowledge equity. As a social movement, we will focus our efforts on the knowledge and communities that have been left out by structures of power and privilege. Again, I think it's, um, it's quite extraordinary and it's a big thing. I think it's a very difficult thing, but I think it's, um, it's definitely something that we all want to um, work towards. And uh, I just want to appreciate and of everyone who's in the room and everybody else in the movement for um, yeah, starting and working towards this um, big movement. And now I pass over to Vivian. <laughs> Thank you, Junko. Hi, everyone. I'm Vivian, also from the Movement Communications team. Oh. Okay, so I think, like Mawatan said, many of you are actually long in the movement, but I think we can take um, a chance to look back in the history of, on, of, in terms of timeline. So following a broad consultation in 2017, uh, the first phase of the movement strategy process produced the strategic direction, which Junko just uh, took us to have a look at. Again, this is to guide the future of, um, of the movement. And in the second phase, the recommendations were produced. Um, close to 100 Wikimedians came together, worked into different nine working groups to draft these recommendations for change. And after multiple iterations and consultations that come to the 10 recommendations and principles, which was published in mid 2020. So in late 2020, um, Wikimedia communities, affiliates, and also the support team organized around 50 events um, to prioritize the recommendations. And also that includes uh, different global conversations, which I think some of you had the chance uh, to be in uh, back, back then. And there was eight major initiatives and cluster were chosen to be the priorities for the implementation to work on. So that includes the movement charter, um, the hubs, and also the um, re funding for underrepresented communities, which I think later in the day in different session, like everyone would have a chance to have further discussion on. And that leads to where we are today. From 2021, the Im implementation of the 10 recommendations and initiatives has started. Okay, so how is that relevant to everyone? And again, this is to um, just to share with also people who are new to the movement that I think all Wikimedians as their day-to-day -day activities, everyone is already working um, towards something actually relevant to movement strategy. People may not necessarily call it out saying, oh, I'm working for this specific recommendations, but all different projects actually contribute to um, movement strategy as a whole. So um, you, you can see what you're working on. That's something that's already connected to the strategy. And also the strategy provides an opportunity um, to turn your ideas into actual projects. And later on in the resourcing movement strategy session, uh, where Yop and also our uh, grantees will also take us on the journey uh, to learn about how they have turned their ideas into actual implementation. And of course, um, the strategy also provides us a great opportunity to connect with each other, uh, with uh, different Wikimedians around the globe to do um, implementation. So that's how this is relevant to all of us. And I would like to invite everyone to do a breakout discussion for now. We're gonna, I'm trying to check how many of us are here. Um, I think it's safe to say we can break into three groups, maybe. <laughs> okay, and so uh, the idea is to invite everyone to discuss these questions into your group. So what projects are you and your community have been working on or thinking about to 
work on in the future or have you already worked on? And also, which move and strategy recommendations do your projects contribute to? So that's the idea that uh, we're saying, right? Everything all connects back to the move and strategy. And also, what do you see as the achievement of your projects? I think this is also an opportunity to share with other uh, fellow Wikimedians. So we will take, mm, I think, 15 minutes-ish, and um, we will do it in group discussion. So there's group one, two, three. Uh, how should we do it? So I think <laughs> from here, probably people before Afi is one group, group one, is that okay? So here, <laughs> can Afi raise his hand? <laughs> okay. So here, this corner, uh, please use the QR code for group one if you want to take some notes and also just freely share the, um, your thoughts, um, participate in the discussion. And I think the group in the back, two maybe, and on this side, um, side of Belinda, <laughs> just using you as a reference, sorry. Um, yeah, can we do that for 15 minutes? And so we're also leaving the recommendations on the screen, so help you identify uh, where your projects connects to.